Okay, so disappearing weapons and uh, picking up weapons that you shouldn't be able to pick up, right? And then what if I have pistol and I pick up a new pistol, right? I should drop the previous one, I equip the new one. Okay, so we got three things to, to do right now. Um, yeah. Uh, items. Okay, so we got this, this is fine. Uh, this switching weapon is fine. We have to go back into our pickup and we have to take one more thing into consideration because we're checking if we have a weapon and we are dropping weapon only if we have weapon of specific uh, type uh, in, our equip in our inventory, but we also need to check our equipment. So we have to go here and get uh, get item in slot weapon from item we need to get item component from this weapon component we need to get tag and we have to do it again like this and uh, seeing if this tag is equals uh, in this example it will be primary and that would mean that bam, bam. okay so we're getting this item and we're getting uh, true which means that we should drop it however we might not get an item in inventory so it's false which means that we well shouldn't drop it well not really what we should do oops uh, what we should do is check our equipment like this. So we're going to do it in a second. Let's get this down and let's make a copy. And let's say that this goes here and, and this definitely will need some breaking points. Uh, here okay and inventory manager no. inventory manager goes here okay so we got this check we're doing this check so drop from Inventory and then pick up. We have to do a second here. So this is drop from inventory. And here will be drop from equipment. So if this is false, we're trying to get item in slot and if there is no item in slot whatsoever, we go directly into it and pick up. But if there is item in slot, we want to do another check and we want to see if this item is primary for the primary path here. And, or even if it's not primary, but it's just equal to this tag because we already went through this, so we know that this is primary. So yeah, so if uh, item uh, type in our equipment is primary and the item we are equipping, we're picking up is also primary. Uh, what we want to do uh, is want to get our equipment and say uh, unequip uh, by reference or well, we have three methods to unequip really we can unequip by reference and just say unequip this item that we just found uh, we can also uh, unequip from slot and the slot is weapon because we just got one slot which this would work as well or we can get this item that we got here we can get item Oh no, we cannot unequip differently. Okay, so we just got those two methods to unequip. 
because item can't get unequipped directly because it has no reference to equipment manager. So yeah, let's just use uh, equip by reference and just uh, use this item as a reference because we know that it is valid, it exists, it has an uh, item component, it is proper tag. So if it is proper tag, we want it to get unequipped and only then we want to pick up the new item. Um, okay, and I think, yeah, and if false, we want to pick up the item immediately because it means that our weapon is not, um, it, it shouldn't be uh, immediately true. We should actually run this as a function. Let's put it as a function because it's getting ridiculous right now uh, in size. So let's do it like this, collapse to function, and this is interact with item on ground. Interact with item, this is, this is fine by itself. Okay, so it takes no inputs, doesn't really require any. On start, we get this uh, item. We're doing all this and we can have internal values now and variable one would be um, should equip immediately. So should equip immediately by default is false. And we change should equip immediately to true uh, under some conditions. So if we are dropping an item and picking up item, uh, that means that we are dropping, for example, secondary when our equipped is primary. But um, if we don't have an item in inventory of this slot, then we go to equipment and we do find one. And uh, even more, this item says true. Um, so it is of the same slot. Then we want to set should equip immediately the new item and then we unequip by reference and then we do the uh, pickup okay and and this is un So we want to unequip by reference. We can actually drop it immediately. Yeah, let's just drop it. Oh, uh, from get item component, drop item and drop it. Dropping unequips. So don't worry about that. And this one goes here. Okay, and now we can just copy this entire block, paste it here. I mean, this could be a separate function as well and be a function inside a function. So if we haven't found any items, then we're doing this check exactly like here. And this tag is equal this tag. And then this is true, which means pick up item and then pick up item. Okay, so here when we save reference, we want to see if should equip immediately. It's true or false. And this picked up item and saved reference. So if it's true, we want to get our equipment manager. We want to get reference and get shortcut reference of one, this example. And we know that it is true. We don't even have to test it, honestly, uh, because we just set it. I want to say equip item slot and the slot is well for our equipment manager so yeah and we just do this 
here again except we are calling q and honestly this could be just a single uh, call not two calls like this we could just store uh, inside a local variable the actor that we are changing to so it's actually just this actor which is item in view so this got picked up uh, yeah we could just say yeah we can just say actor in view item in view and because this is just item in view uh, we can just call it once as it is just single reference and then if it succeeds or not we just do a return all executions are connected let's see here 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 nope here is not so if it is get item in slot failed then just pick up item and here just pick up item so one two three one two three okay and now everything should be connected uh, equip. so let's see if i pick up my first item i should equip it immediately now oh didn't work and uh, so why it didn't work it didn't work because if we say false and we say false so we don't have an item in slot and we don't have an item in inventory so if we don't have in slot false that means uh, we should switch immediately as well hmm. Okay, and this is a terrible spaghetti monster right now. And I am very sorry about that. So if it's false, then here and then here. Okay. I think that works. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Let's see now. Yeah, so I equip immediately. And if I now pick up a second weapon of the same type, I equip immediately. It gets auto blocked by some reason. Let me see this anim graph. I mean, hand cannon overlay. Walking. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see now. So I pick up one weapon. I equip immediately. I can aim, I can do stuff with it. And by the way, my hand looks probably super awkward right now. Yeah. And this is because I should be blending animation from my uh, pose below on the Glock. But I think that the IK system, let's see our aim offset IK, isn't breaking it. <laughs> uh, VB, VB, okay, so those virtual, oh yes, of course it does. Mm -mm -mm. How to do it right? Okay, I'm not going, I'm not going to bother with that, like you can, make an extra correction just for the Glock pose because all the animation um, all the animations in slots will work correctly except it's idle ADS and everything because the animation is designed for being used with one hand okay so now I drop previous weapon I pick up this one okay I see one more problem uh, inside our anim graph where is it our main anim graph mocap here okay so all those animations they need to have a blend 
bone layer blend and you know what I can actually uh, copy it mm. okay from anywhere here the main anime graph I can just copy this yes and I can go here and say this and say base pose catch base pose is the base pose and this is the layer and this is out okay so I copy this and equip equip and equip and just do that five times and by the way yeah I noticed I managed to add only four weapons not five but it doesn't really require me to add five and the shotgun animations are really broken so just do those four because I wanted to have two primary and two secondary weapons. So if you're making Counter-Strike or a game similar to it or Valorant, something like that, where you buy weapons, it would be exactly the same system. We would just spawn a new weapon and uh, immediately pick it up after spawning from your store. And the dropping would be handled like this automatically. So there's one more thing we can do to make the weapon not disappear immediately on an equip. And we're going to do something about that. So let's first see if our equip animations yet yeah, now they are blending. And on equip as well. So I can move while doing so and they don't no longer snap. Yeah, they no longer snap, they blend well with the IK that we have set up okay and now i can do this 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 and if i now try to do this i just drop the previous one and reset the reference boom and again i just drop the previous one and reset the reference but yeah, that's it now one okay so yeah we got pretty much uh, counter-strike right now it's it's super simple oh, by the way this animation is not really centered oh yeah because it requires the okay let's let's add it where is it um mp7 and this should have a static mesh and one side it's a separate mesh i forgot about that German uh, iron site. Yes, viewport. Uh, so iron site probably. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's hit play. Let's see again. Okay. Yeah. I will actually have the iron site. Okay, if I pick up this one, I drop the previous one. And I do this, I can now change. And okay, the animations blend really well. Uh, okay, this blends well as well. So what else do we need to do? Oh yeah, the disappearing weapons. <laughs> Yeah, they shouldn't disappear like that immediately. So what we might want to do is just go into our weapon and go into our weapon template and say on an equip, it just disappears uh, immediately and gets added to our uh, items and everything. We have to well basically do stuff that we are doing on equip so we want to um, um, can we do it i think we can i'm on equip okay so we're just calling this text and then we are reattaching our self to the parent which is the user 
cast to character and we can cast to C++ classes because all C++ classes are already in the memory so it doesn't cost us anything and we want to just add it to here here snap snap keep word okay so we want to get it back here and say show okay no uh, set hidden in game set actor hidden in game no to self so we want to relocate our weapon immediately back and say that we want it to be visible uh, and we want to so it's not in equipment right now and not in inventory right now so we want to reverse this process really um, again uh, in our equip and equip so here what we want to do uh, is get previous item so the one that we are unequipping uh, it's not valid then nothing if it is valid then we want to att attach it to owners oh we already got inventory manager and there is an actor called uh, how is it called get um, um, wait this is equipment yeah we want inventory so from inventory we want to get inventory storage I want to attach to inventory storage socket name nothing uh, no yeah yeah this is the parent uh, attach actor to component uh, okay attach actor to get to actor so we want to get the item ba, 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 this attach actor to actor the parent actor is inventory storage want to uh, snap snap and keep word and don't wield and we want also for this actor to set actor hidden in game true and then we want to return true so if we don't implement this uh, notification as an equip anywhere right now, what should happen is that on unequip of the item, uh, it will just not disappear and it will probably still be attached to our hand. Yeah, it's still attached to our hand and they are both attached to our hand as they were. Yeah, uh, so what we want to do, we need to now implement this. So we just go here, animations, arm, lower. And we just go IK, American, Australia, uh, Austrian, German, and head cannon, lower animations. And we want to do it opposite of what we did previously. So here somewhere around here want to do um, an equip so we just leave it at false okay whenever we think that we might no longer see it it will be fine even here should be already enough okay this one requires it to be longer okay maybe here okay so now we have those notifications and those notifications should run on dedicated server triggers on dedicated server yeah it's by default on okay okay we can close the animations and now 
I go here, this I think should work. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. We pick up this and let's pick up this and let's do. Okay. Yeah, it no longer disappears and it no longer stays in our hand. Uh, so, yeah, seems like everything is working. Okay, there's still some snapping with the animations. Let's do slow mo and see what's happening. Okay, it's not happening anymore, which means that probably it's. Um, let's go into post process. Let's see motion blur. Oh, yeah, it was terrible motion blur. So let's do a target of zero. Let's hit play and let's do a recording of what we have worked on today. What's the uh, end game of, of our tutorial? Okay. This is much more fluid. Oh, let's let's disable this a super annoying trace. Uh, let's go to event graph here and say don't. Just don't. Okay, play. Okay, so what we have right now is just four weapons, two secondary weapons, two primary weapons. We can go into interaction with those weapons. We can pick them up and we can do stuff. We have one slot in equipment, which is just the active weapon equipment slot. So if I pick up first weapon, I will immediately equip it. And now I have it in my hand, I can aim around and uh, well normally I will be able to shoot and do other stuff because I have direct reference to this weapon. Now I can pick up another weapon which is a primary weapon and now I have set uh, references to my primary and secondary and can switch between them immediately and uh, do stuff with it. So yeah, there's that. Um, okay, and they switch pretty fluent. But if I, now I have a secondary weapon and I pick up another secondary weapon, I will actually drop the previous secondary weapon on the ground and equip the new one. I can do that continuously, changing weapon and picking up new weapons. If I however have a primary weapon and I pick up a secondary weapon, what will actually happen is that I'm going to drop the previous one. What's going on? Oh! Ooh, I made a chat mistake here. So let's find our mm, inventory MP7 and yeah, iron side collision no uh, no collision whatsoever and that's it. It's just an attached object without collision. I was self colliding with the iron sight, that's why I was moving strangely. So yeah, now I have primary weapon selected. I do have a secondary weapon, but if I swap it, I will just swap the secondary weapon and reference to it. So now I can use the new reference and I can use it uh, now. And uh, yeah, and now if I pick up secondary while having secondary, I will drop. But if I change weapons, I will just change weapons. Okay, and I can now swap the primary weapon. I can use this one. I can swap back to this primary weapon or I can have swap my primary weapon while having the secondary weapon selected. 
And yeah, this is basically Counter Strike, Left 4 Dead, Valorant, any other uh, shooting game that has specific slots for different types of weapon. And the only thing I need to remember when adding more weapon to it, like adding four was really fast and very easy, is to remember to tag them properly and have them share a common tag. So for those are item weapon uh, secondary, and for those it's swap, uh, weapon uh, item weapon primary. And uh, really nothing more to it. So yeah, this was a long one. Uh, I hope this uh, helps you out to understand uh, how we can do things with this plugin automatically. There's a second method of doing this. Instead of using inventory, you would register those items into inventory and then into equipment immediately. And if there is demand, I can show you this method as well. Uh, however, we will no longer be able to use the equip, unequip, uh, to trigger animations, uh, like we do in this example, would have to trigger animations and change of animations by something else. So for example, we would actually use the event, um, which is called use item. And we would use item to equip it while we actually have already two items in equipment. So yeah, thanks for listening. I hope this uh, helps you a bit. The next tutorial for inventory will be a survival tutorial with uh, interactable foliage and interactable uh, objects and crafting and a lot more slots on the character. And well, for that one, there's no way I could do it without the uh, UI. So I will help you with uh, widgets and updating widgets uh, as well. But before we do that, I will be changing this to work on dedicated server multiplayer. Thanks for listening.